You know what's the most valuable asset a farmer has? It's their land. But guess what? They don't have much say on how they can use it. In Maharashtra, if a landlord leases their land for more than a year, they can lose it and receive a measly amount of money in return. And get this, while officially only 0.01% of land is leased, surveys show that it's actually a whopping 5.6%. That's a difference of over 500 times. We hit the roads of Akola to get the real story from the landlords and tenants themselves. First, tenants don't get crop insurance. Yep, that's right. Since the tenancy agreement isn't formal, tenants don't get the same protections as the landlord. So if the weather takes a turn for the worse and the crops are destroyed, only the landlord is compensated. Unfair, right? Secondly, informal contracts mean only people known to the landlord are getting the land. That means fewer opportunities for newcomers and those without social connections. Can you imagine if that was the case for renting apartments? people would be up in arms. Third, tenants can't access credit. If a utensil manufacturer rents a factory and starts producing glasses, they can get credit for raw materials. After all, they will use these materials to generate a product to sell using their machinery. For a farmer, land is such an asset. But still, tenant cannot use their land to get credit. These strict restrictions are making life even harder for farmers. It's time for a change.